Good morning, everybody from Houston, from Silver Sea Studios. I am Bogdan. He is and John. And I'm John. Welcome. Glad you're here today. We, uh, for those one who are following us on Facebook uh, or other social media channels, uh, we are located in Silver Sea Studios in Houston, and John's studio is 108, and my studio is 111. We are here uh, pretty much every day of the week, and. Um, more housekeeping uh, comes from you. You bet. So um, if you're joining us today on Facebook, um, that's wonderful. Uh, we appreciate it. If you're looking at us through uh, Facebook Live, unfortunately, because we're broadcasting in Zoom, we can't see your comments live. We try and keep up with the phone. Well, has got it on as well. But it's if right there's here. a delay, uh, there is a delay with Facebook as well. So we're not ignoring you, but uh, because we're broadcasting on Zoom, we've got that uh, that bit of a, a, a glitch. We'll get around to you, I promise. Don't, don't lose hope. The other thing is that everything that we're talking about today is for sale. Uh, this is a way for us to present our art and what we're doing and, and kind of the vibe of what's going on in our art careers. Uh, but it's more than informational. I mean, if you fall in love with a piece, they are all for sale. I mean, and we I can get, ship anywhere. What I when when we say everything, almost everything. I mean, I can paint a little this shirt and yeah. that make it a signature Bogdan. If you want my glasses, I can I can feel my way through life. You know uh, how uh, you can enhance the glasses as well, right? Like so look exactly. like exactly. I could do the whole like, Dame Edna thing. Exactly, exactly. No, Hello, so awesome. <laughs> It, it used to be Elton John, now it's Dame Edna. What does that say about me? I don't know. God, I remember her. How funny. Hello, Possum, right? Yes, Possum. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, uh, for those one who are um, watching us on Facebook, I want to uh, remind you, let me share the, um, the screen here. I want to remind everybody where can they find our social media channels. And that is on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And on Facebook, as well, of course, it's Bogdan Photo Art page. Uh, if you want to um, follow John, you can uh, search for John Bishop Fine Art page. And as well, we are on Instagram. Um, we are, uh, Instagram are these days dedicated more of um, working in progress and what's new. This is how I fill up my channel. And that is John Bishop Fine Art and Bogdan on Instagram. Really easy to remember. And we do have uh, both uh, a YouTube channel, uh, John Bishop Fine Art and Bogdan Mihai. And then um, uh, the most important thing about YouTube is uh, John Bishop Fine Art. When we're gonna, we have our Art Life channel uh, where we discuss every week what happens with us uh, day by day and what plans and what what we thinking um, about this uh, art life thing and uh, the people we meet and what we've learned along the way uh, but we'll talk about all this a little uh, later today uh, let me just plug can i plug two other things uh, i also do a weekly blog uh, and a weekly podcast mm -hmm. both a video mm -hmm. and, and audio podcast if you're interested in either of those just go to my website uh, johnbishopfineart.com and uh, the, there's tabs on there to get to all that content. Again, we are everywhere. Yeah, and we've been doing this show for now. This is the 30, what is it? Uh, 39th or? I can't remember. 29th? If it's not a round number, I don't even... Uh, I think it's 29th. Yeah. Uh, just pick up a channel you like and that's fine with us. You don't have to follow us on every single one. Anyway, okay. let's uh, let's move back to uh, the slideshow. Uh, let's okay. keep, let's introduce the first two pieces I we want to show you guys today. And this one's on the left. It's Rhapsody in Blue. It's mm -hmm. a photograph. Uh, and um, John's has a new entry, which is Winter Storm. Just finished it, right? Yes, absolutely. Anyway, uh, anyway, I'm, I have to stop saying this word anyway. My very first... Better than... Uh, uh, better than uh, 
Uh, my very first piece uh, today in today's art chat is Rhapsody in Blue. I just put this uh, image together uh, last week. And um, it's, it's almost like a celebration of the end of summer. These flowers actually are uh, scanned individually and put together in a bouquet, kind of bouquet. And the, the resolution and the detail of them are just amazing. And um, it's being printed as we speak. And um, I don't have a large, it's going to be a 24 by 24 inch uh, um, paper. And um, I have here with me that I can share an artist proof. It is Stunning. truly remarkable. And the, the deep blacks and and the blue and the, you know, and I, I got these flowers and there are, I, I went outside and I see that actually they're not just blue. There are three shades of blue. And I said, I'm going to combine this in a, in a, in a kind of radiant and they, 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 they disperse, you know, to a darker shade. And this is how, um, so this is how it formed. Are those plumbago plumbago flowers outside you know, my studio? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's plumbago, and and I just think they're beautiful. Not only, uh, but the arrangement uh, yeah. it reminds yeah. me. My grandmother had a, sh a bathing cap like that. It looked like an old Esther Williams bathing suit cap. But uh, you know, it, it's so funny because you think of floral arrangements as being kind of kind of like grandma pictures, right? That right. they're kind of old fashioned and. and uh, but these, these, because they're on that deep, deep black, and because of the the, the richness uh, amount of, of detail, yeah. they really pop. They look new. They look fresh. And I think that's amazing that you can get that image with something that, you know, people kind of say, oh, well, I wouldn't buy a floral for my home. It's too old fashioned. Mm -hmm. But this isn't old fashioned at all. And guys, it's going to be framed uh, in a in a deep shadow frame. It, it it's all all ready to go and I will put it together by this Saturday where um, I have to remind everybody that this Saturday is the Fall Biannual, which is a very, very important art sale event here at Soya Yards. Big deal. Uh, and I want to, I want you guys, I want to ask you to come up and support the artists, not just me, but in general, all the artists here. And um, I am, I over prepared, I think this time. But I'll, I'll, I'll share with you uh, everything in uh, in a second. You want to talk about your new piece, John? Sure. My new piece is, uh, you pull it up on the slide, just a it's Winter Storm. I, I kind of previewed them last time because I had just finished them. I, I'm in this uh, art lab uh, program with uh, PRPGMX, a, a residency program out of Mexico City, Michael Swank. And so this was my first time doing a series of studies before doing a large painting. And uh, so these two, uh, this is one of the two that I featured last week. This one's called Winter Storm. It's uh, the whole idea is to look at light and, and bringing light into paintings as though it's illuminated from behind. And so I was trying to put that yellow behind so it would peek through uh, the, the kind of cracks in the other layers. I love, love the painting. I, I'm not sure it did what I wanted it to do with light, but it's remarkable in its own in its own way. Uh, so anyway, I, I have it here. It's uh, Bogdan framed it for me yesterday, or the day before yesterday, and it just looks magnificent. Uh, things look so much better framed, don't they? Mm -hmm. I want to show you the size. And actually, I'm a, I'm a big fan of um, of floated artworks, uh, the artworks that are on paper. They're, they're mm -hmm. just, they just, when you flow them, everything just pops up. And, and it, it not only pops because of the floating, see the shadow inside, the shadow box, mm -hmm. but the, the, the choosing the light colored uh, wood really complemented uh, the colors in that as well. And, and I just it, think the pieces are lovely. I think they will complement uh, many people's rooms and uh, hopefully they'll sell. And it's, you know, uh, because of that frame, it can be placed in any kind of environment and it, it, adds, exactly. some, it adds something fresh to any uh, room. So anyway, that's the that's the one of the two in that series. And I, I thought it was so stunning framed. 
that I needed to feature it today because it just got a cursory look at it last week. That's right. And here is uh, on a close up. Moving forward, I want to remind everybody that if you haven't booked your tickets to New York this winter, you still have time because my photograph as is from uh, the Neritan series is going to Poughkeepsie, New York for the Oven Era show. Mm -hmm. I and and Poughkeepsie have... is a lovely uh, destination point anyway. I think uh, a lot of holiday shut up. And again, and again, if you can't go to New York, you can always visit me here in Studio 111 in Silver City Studios. I have all the series printed and it's ready to be collected. Excellent. And this one has been collected, right? Well, it's been shown. It's been getting lots of attention lately. So it's been in a, a number of exhibitions and uh, we do have more probably news will be again soon. Yeah, we do have more news about this uh, series, but that will come next week. We cannot share that yet. Now we have a, a new episode of Art Life going on. And uh, there's a lot of I exciting stuff in this episode. You want to talk about a little, John? Yeah, the uh, art art uh, art life is is uh, where we take and basically do a vlog about our art business and what's going on with us, what we're doing, who we're meeting, what we're learning along the way, and uh, so it, it's 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 come to I don't know, I can't speak for Bogdan, but it's it's become quite a quite an important part of my life being able to share these things. Yes, uh, mine too. And I'm, I'm every day. I'm in a in a rush. It's like, okay, I'm. I, I work all the time doing all kinds of things, and I find myself in the middle of a project. Sometimes I said, "Oh my God, I haven't filmed anything." So mm -hmm. I have to start the camera like where I am, and uh, you know, explain what has happened. And it's a it's a great great tool. Um, not for us, but it should be a great tool for all the artists in general to keep up, to document your day, to document and, and documenting and filming everything. That means you document a piece of art from the beginning to the end as well. And you know, it's interesting because you know, the people who vlog are, are usually people who have interesting lives and, and you see them living in their vans or traveling the world or, or doing whatever it is that vloggers do. And I kept thinking, well, we have an interesting career. We have we have kind of unique lives. Uh, and, yeah, we, uh, I, I don't feel like I'm. It's been fun. It's been. Really I don't feel like I'm a boring person. No. <laughs> no, but I mean, you don't. Uh, we don't feel extraordinary either. But what we're doing is actually quite weird for, uh, compared to. I mean, you would never have seen yourself as an artist twenty years ago. Well, I know because nobody allowed me to do that. Exactly. Exactly. I and mean, so maybe I, I, what we. I was an artist all the time. This is what I've done, creating the stuff for television or whatever I work. And, uh, but I, I, I was, I couldn't call myself an artist. I was too shy to do that. And, mm -hmm. and because the people around you not necessarily allows you to call yourself an artist because I don't know why. Yeah, and if we can be uh, of interest to people, our lives, that's magnificent. And if there are other artists out there who, who haven't, uh, who don't, who feel the same way we felt, maybe this will be an inspiration to them. And, and uh, uh, I don't know, I just think it's been a really good experience so far. Okay, I put the slide on for everybody, like a, 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 re, a reminder uh, again, uh, this Saturday, October 2nd, uh, is the fall biannual here at Soya Yards. And we have a lot of, lot of art ready to go, guys. And it's very important that you come and support us and support the artists at Soya Yards and, uh, you know, uh, browse to their, uh, to their uh, new works. Yeah, it's a big deal. We do it twice a year and there are literally hundreds of artists we will be open. You can talk to them, see their work, have a lovely day out. There are food trucks that goes till 9 p.m. It's a big deal. If you're around, you should come by. Yes, our studios again are 108 and 111. And I, I just um, put together some images of things, new things uh, that you can find in my studio these days. Um, there's a lot others, but uh, you know, I told John, I don't think we have time to go through everything that I put together for this event. 
However, I'm going to, to put something up uh, just to, to uh, create that, uh, how do you call the, the, the vibe, the, the hype. vibe is like uh, to, to, to make you guys come out and uh, have a good time this Saturday. And I have two pieces that I just did yesterday. They're here, uh, the green ones. And uh, again, this is part of my uh, art lab project. And so I have, I haven't even named them yet. Ooh. They're very they're nice. Paper and they, they match, they match my t-shirt, John, which is great. That's why, that's why I did that. So they would yeah. match your t-shirt. But they're again, working with light and trying to find light sources within the painting to make it look more kind of trans, uh, uh, um, illuminated from within. They're very nice, very, very pleasant. And I know that uh, I, I, I've seen them and they look way better in person than on uh, in a Zoom uh, meeting. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. That's true I mean, of a lot the, of things. The depth of that uh, gold and green together, it, it's magnificent. And the texture, textures of the paint as well. Again, thank you to everybody um, that uh, are following us, that are watching us. Let me put the, the slide up. Um, people that um, visit us, uh, Bob, it's Bob and Rosa are on the Zoom meeting. Hey, welcome. Hi, Bob and Rosa. Welcome to our chat. You bet, welcome guys. I haven't seen you guys in a while. We are just sending uh, everybody a big thank you for everything that you guys have done for us and for your support and love. And it's 11.17, which means we have to present the second part. Oh, we got plenty of time. So uh, uh, I have here a new, hi, Bob. Um, hi, Bob. A new piece uh, I was playing last week with, um, and this is called River Rock. It's a watercolor, uh, it's a painting, acrylic paint and acrylic ink on watercolor. And, um, you know, I, I, I want it, uh, actually, your piece is Cyclone mm -hmm. this time. And let me go to mine, start this. Uh, as I said, uh, a week ago or so, I was playing in the new home studio with some uh, acrylic and uh, acrylic ink. And this is how these pieces uh, uh, were born. Actually, uh, I have one that it's, uh, it's kind of a pair if you want. This one it's uh, uh, River Rock and the other one is called Lava Rock. And I wanted something simple, I wanted something bold. Um, of course, I didn't, I didn't know exactly how this will turn. I wanted to create not perfect circles, but I was thinking of the four um, shapes of, uh, of uh, rocks in the water. You know how they are like round, but not quite round. Something that is more organic, more pleasant for the eyes. And this is uh, the piece. This piece. This is how this piece has turned. And I, think I remember when you when you first showed it to me. You were like, "Is this finished?" And and we were both like, "Yeah, I think it's done." I think it surprised you that it was so so simple and so so bold. Yes, and uh, you, and again, I have it here. Let me just turn off the screen. It's quite large. Yeah, you know, and it's so uh, so beautiful and it's so simple and so organic in a way. And you know that 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 black that jar, that completely black black, very matte. It just yeah. absorbs obviously all the light. You know, it, it's, it's like there are holes or they they there's negative space there, but it's in the middle of the painting. And I just think I think they're very very striking. I um, like it. Really different. Yeah, you know, it's almost like I don't know why I like it. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, typical of art, right? <laughs> I don't um, understand it. I just like it. If you if you guys come uh, come this Saturday up, you will be able to see the the lava rock. It's pair. Yeah, it's basically the same idea, but on on pink instead of blue. Okay. So let's do this. You want to talk about yours? Yes, yeah, Cyclone. Cyclone is one in a, a series that I call my Storm series. And they're all 12 by 12 inch on uh, paper. And uh, they're 
They're squiggly little lines. In fact, I think this is a cooperative thing. You did the squiggly lines, didn't you? Yes, I did. May, I actually you, maybe not on all of them, but you started them that way. Yes. And you were like, I don't know what to do with these. And I said, just give them to me, give them to me. And so I went in and colored them. And so there's been a whole series of these. Uh, and I don't know why, because they are so chaotic, because they're so they they uh, they seem to have so much motion and energy. I just thought they looked like like storms on a on a on a, some sort of radar. Okay, so and, you see, you, what I see is the top part looks like a rock formation. Uh huh. And so the green part could be like a canyon. <laughs> Yeah. The bottom water? Of the canyon. <laughs> and so the bottom brown is also the other side of the canyon. So mm -hmm. <laughs> you have That's a tornado like, going through a canyon. I was going to say, and, and something's going on in between. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I, but I, I really I, thought these were, were striking because uh, when you put them together, we had several yeah. of them framed. I don't know if there were four or six. Every single one of them sold uh, when they're framed. And I have a few of them left over that haven't been framed. Uh, and and uh, I just think they're, I think they're delightful. Lots of metallic paint. Uh, Bob has made fun of me in the past because I do use a lot of gold, but uh, um, you know, you got gold, you should use it. But you but, know. Uh, I think so, they're just, I think they're remarkable because they, they're energetic. They really give you a sense of, of energy and power and, and movement. And it's, uh, I, I want to um, add here that uh, these pieces in the plastic are matted uh, just to protect the artwork for the plastic. Yeah. yeah, just from the shop, yeah. You can take the mat off at any point and uh, reframe it age to age, or you can have it floated the way I like. Um, I, I always tell people that comes here that, you know, if you need help with framing, I can help with that because I know how, how the piece, how my piece will look best. Anyway, I just love them, and I say there's there's several of them left. I think there's four of them left, and we should probably get them framed up because sometimes it's hard hard for people to understand or get a, a sense until they see it framed. I know and that I, I'm always blown away when I see something framed. It just it adds a whole new element. And, to and it. I, I noticed lately that people are are interested in having the artwork ready to go on the wall. You know, um, if later on they want to do a uh, golden frame and I don't know a specific sort of uh, frame they can do it at any point mm -hmm. but uh, you know the majority of my frames here are white and I tell everybody those are studio frames it they will be fine for a while take them home play with them wait and you will know when to change the frame and what kind of frame well, speaking on the collector side, uh, I, I can validate that because we bring non-ready to, to to present pieces home all the time. So, and and they end up getting just stuck somewhere until we can finally get around to taking them somewhere to get framed. Sometimes they never do. Mm -hmm. um, we were at, in a gathering over the weekend, and another collector was negotiating with an artist. And part of his negotiation was, I don't want this unless it's ready to hang because yeah. I know I'll never get to it. <laughs> it's it's and, a very, yeah, it's that's, not, that's true. It's not only that, some, some people, it's not the money an issue. It's very hard for a lot of people to decide what frame looks best with this artwork. And, it, and I tell everybody uh, an artwork, uh, it's like a, a diamond. If you don't give that gold ring frame, uh, you you can't use it. You, you know. Well, you could cut glass with it, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good analogy, having a, a stone that's not mounted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just like, yeah, look at that. <laughs> John, do we have any other announcements? Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, first of all, uh, you've got. Uh, uh, relationship forming with uh, Michael Swank down in Mexico City. That's right. Uh, I forgot about that. And yeah. uh, you want to talk a little bit about what you're going to be doing with Michael? Yes. Yeah, so uh, Michael RPGMX. I have. I would have to repeat that a hundred times. A hundred times. I'm getting used to it. Yeah. So uh, Michael Swank is um, 
owning a residency program and a gallery in Mexico City. And he, uh, through John, got to know me and was very interested in my photography. And he would like to um, organize an exhibition for my inheritance series uh, soon. Uh, and um, he also uh, is interested in having me to be part of the um, curatorial uh, group um, for the photography side of the gallery, which I thought the, the, this photography side, it's a new kind of uh, uh, path for him as well. And he would like some uh, um, people with some experience to curate uh, various photographic shows. And um, he also um, would like me to think of, and, and curate my own show um, to have uh, on display in Mexico City. Yeah, that's, that's a great relationship forming there. And then of course, Michael works with Dab Art, uh, who has galleries all over. So uh, congratulations with that. I'm, I'm glad you guys are, are, are being able to work together. I'm still working on, I'm in the residency program, working on the Art Lab, uh, which is an eight week program. Uh, and each of us has uh, um, a different uh, kind of project that we're working on. And then we're in small kind of cohorts of artists who every week get together and discuss and critique and support and, and, and celebrate the, uh, the work that each other is doing. And it's really been great because I'm meeting people from all over, uh, people I don't think I would have met in any other, other way. Uh, so that's, that's been really good for my practice as well. Fabulous. And, yes, then, I, mm -hmm. and then of course, you're still, we're still both waiting. We both applied for Fane in Mexico City, which is a, an art show, a kind of a, a three day art fair. And by the way, we're uh, waiting to hear on that. By the way, it, I'm going to know by October 5th. Yeah, it should be very, very soon. And then of course, you're still showing with Fane from Guadalajara online. Yes. And then of course you're going off to, uh, you've got the show in Poughkeepsie coming as well. So we're staying active, uh, we're moving moving along. And of course we've got the big uh, biennial this weekend, uh, which should hopefully, uh, if, if you can make it, that would be great. It's a great, great day. And hopefully the weather will uh, uh, be more pleasant. Uh, you know, art, art folks don't mind getting rained on. <laughs> Artists do, but art folks don't. <laughs> have to bring our umbrella in so we can keep our art dry when we go to Yeah, the and if you want us to paint it, we'll paint it. <laughs> <laughs> so the biennials this weekend. Yeah. Uh, when is the show in Mexico? And is that Me Mexico City? Hey, Mexico City. That, that should and, be no November 26th. End of November. 20, okay. uh, 26, 27, and 28, I believe. Right. Right. That would be Fingers a cool crossed. thing to. That'd be a cool thing to do on a vacation. Go to an art show in Mexico City. Yeah. The, the big one is Zona Marco, and that that will be. I when is that? That's summer. Uh, seems like it just happened, but so does COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we couldn't do the November because we're going to New York City in first part of, uh, of December, so we couldn't back to back that, but. That would yeah. be a cool. That would be a cool thing to do on a vacation. But that, that's okay because if you go in November, you can take a short trip to Poughkeepsie and uh, say, "Oh, I know this guy." Because <laughs> that Poughkeepsie vacation market is huge. I yeah. <laughs> go on vacation. Right, guys. Just so you can say the name Poughkeepsie. <laughs> Tell me about. You know how much I practice. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's uh, 11.30 and uh, we, need, we need to stop here for this edition. And we want to thank everybody that watch us on Facebook. And we want to thank Bob who joined us live on the Zoom link. Um, this is fun. I'll try, to do, I'll try to do it again. Marvelous. We're here yeah. all the time. <laughs> thank well, you, we'll Bob. see if we can see you this weekend. All right. You're welcome. Excellent. Thank you, Great Bob. seeing you. Thank you everybody. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.